Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to Ouroboros Tarot. So today's reading is all about your crush. We're going to be looking into um, what it is that your crush desires in romance, what it is that they are feeling for you, how they see you, how they feel about your connection, um, as well as what their fears are. Um, really quickly, I have now updated my shop to include $8 mini readings as well as unlimited question live readings. Um, so if you're interested in booking one of those with me, please feel free to do so in my Etsy shop. Um, I'm really, really excited about it. I'm still working on the links to the decks. I will do that as soon as I am able. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get on into it. I have four groups for you to choose from. Group one, group two, group three, and group four. Go ahead and pause this video if you need to. Take as much time as you need to find the pile that sits right with your energy as well as with your person's energy. And I will see you in a minute. Hello, pile one. So today's reading is all about your crush. So, <laughs> I'm sorry if you can hear Joplin yawning. Hi, baby girl. Oh, you're so cute, yes. Yes. We're gonna go on a walk after I do this reading. So, anyway, we're going to be doing a an all about your crush reading. So, in it, we're going to ask how it is that they feel about you. We're going to ask how they feel about this connection. We're going to ask what it is that they fear, how they see you. Um, and also what it is that they desire. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the tarot cards here are going to represent what it is that your person desires. Um, how does pile one, what does pile one's person want? Okay, we have the four of wands. What do they want? The Two of Cups, what do they want? We have the Knight of Cups, okay, the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, what is it that they want? We have the Ten of Cups, what do they want? The Eight of Cups, what do they want? And we have the Ten of Swords. And then on the back of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. Okay. <laughs> so if you, if you don't see it for yourself, um, this person that, that you are inquiring about is emotionally available, which is a beautiful thing to see because a lot of the times when I am <laughs> reading, that is not the case. There's a lot of people um, working through that, um, just as a collective. And there's no, there's no judgment with that. I myself am, am someone who is working through some things. So there's no judgment. Perhaps you are, you are un unavailable. Um, but this person here, this person that you are inquiring about is very emotionally available to start. So what is it that they desire? Um, the first thing that I would say is that the idea of um, marriage, the idea of commitment, the idea of everything that like is kind of just like the standard um, dream for, for a lot of people is what it is that they want. They have a desire to build a foundation, they have a desire to um, really build off of one another, they have a desire to start a family, There's they have a desire to be in love. To be in love um, and to not be single anymore. The Nine of Pentacles often indicates singleness and um, singleness in the sense of abundance, of being on your own, of being in your power. Um, it's not it's not like a a needy or a tragic type of of feeling. It's more so like a I'm okay with where I'm at right now, um, and. I know how to fulfill myself. This is essentially what it is that they're saying to themselves. However, um, a partner that I could commit to, that could commit to me, would really um, enhance the quality of life for me. 
Um, but I would say that they're, this person is really looking for something healthy, committed, long lasting, um, honest, open. It's very, very warm. It feels very safe. Um, and I would also say that it's something that they're, I would say that this person is so incredibly comfortable with who they are, where they're at, what it is that they want, um, their goals, everything. They are like really at ease in the present moment, so much so that there is no rush to find this. There's no settling on their end. They don't want to settle. They don't need to settle. Um, they're searching for somebody who um, is on the same level as them, um, someone who can add to their life just as much as they know they can add to another person's life in a partnership. Um, yeah, this is overall what this is indicating is somebody who truly is a catch. <laughs> so if you're if you're looking at your person and you're thinking like this person hasn't gotten it together or this person um, really isn't treating me right, this person is really unavailable, this isn't your reading because um, this is very clear to me. This person is in their heart space and feels very comfortable with who they are and where they're headed. So in terms of how they are feeling about you, we have the lover. So um, if this is somebody that you have been in a relationship with for a long time, these cards are indicating that what they want, they already have with you. Um, there's just like, there's an element of, of stability there. If this is a connection that has, has already come into union, this is confirming that the feelings have not faded. If anything, with time, these feelings just continue to get stronger for them. Um, they see you as, as somebody who... Um, is very giving um, and they want to give to you they they desire you and they desire to make you happy and even if you guys aren't in union already even if this is just a crush this is confirming that um, if you feel all of these warm fuzzy feelings like if you feel very emotionally drawn to this person not just physically drawn but like emotionally drawn um, I would say that this is confirming that these feelings are reciprocated. Um, they feel a great deal of care for you, um, and they definitely want to see where this goes. I see here in this image we have um, a pearl, and so this to me is indicative of them recognizing that there is something very, very special um, about you. Um, in terms of how they see you. We have the mother. The light attributes are nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy, and giving birth to life. And the shadow attributes are smothering or abandoning children, instilling guilt in children for becoming independent. And obviously, with them having these strong feelings for you, and with them being in such a state of what it is that they desire being something so healthy and high vibrational, I don't see them seeing you in these shadow attributes. They are seeing you as somebody who, um, like I was saying when it comes to what they desire is somebody who can um, be their equal, who can step up to the plate and offer them just as much as they can offer someone else. They see you as that person. They see you as somebody who understands what it means to um, have your heart space open, to um, practice healthy love, healthy independence, um, and then we also have cornucopia. So I would say that how this person sees you is essentially the dream come true for what it is that we see in these tarot cards for what it is that they desire. Um, for the light attributes of the mother, for one thing to be, one of the keywords to be patience and how I was talking about how there is no rush, they're seeing you as somebody who also has the ability to not settle, who's not willing to settle, who has their own abundance. They see you as somebody that has um, a lot of potential in terms of a future with them. Um, in terms of how they see this connection, we have the talisman. 
So they see this, they see this connection as, as gold. They see it as um, something really, really exciting. It's like there's a door that's about to be opened that's going to lead them to where it is that they've, they've been dreaming of. Um, and, if, and if this is something that has already come into union, um, girl, you're going to burn your little nosy. Don't do that. If this is something that has already come into union, um, this is just solidifying it. It's like they feel as though this is a forever thing. If this has been a long-term connection, they feel really safe in that um, in knowing that there are even more treasures to unlock with you. And then lastly, pile one, um, we have for in terms of how what they fear, we have robbery and flow. So obviously, like I'm looking at this person and energetically, this person feels very light, feels very high vibrational, feels like somebody that you just want to be around. I, I am feeling their energy and it's really good energy. It's really um, authentic, really gentle, really warm, really loving and um, joyful. And um, just because somebody is is in a state of a flow or is in a state of high vibration doesn't mean that they're not still human and we all have um, a variety of emotions a range of emotions that can occur at any given moment and that's very human and normal and so for them to have fears is absolutely okay um, and I think what they're what they're most afraid of in terms of this connection in terms of um, their future with you is that um, they know from a healthy perspective that um, love does not control, love does not own, love does not manipulate, um, love just accepts things as they are. And in doing such, you can, you can love somebody deeply and still accept that at this current moment, how they are showing up does not reflect the love you have for yourself. Um, those things are not mutually exclusive in the sense of when you love somebody, you have to sacrifice your love for yourself. I don't know why I just said that. That was like totally just a, a ramble. Um, but with, with flow here and with robbery, what I'm sensing is that they're ra they acknowledge in this state of knowing what it is to truly love that um, there's always the potential for you to one day wake up and decide that you don't want this anymore or for um, you both to wake up one day and something better comes along in your eyes and they whisk you away and obviously because they love you they will let you go so there's there's a fear of loss outside of their control like there's a fear of knowing that they could be the most perfect partner for you they could do everything right and um, it still could go wrong potentially. Um, and and I, don't, I don't necessarily, this only showed up because I asked the cards that. Otherwise, this person seems as though they are really living in a, in a state of love rather than fear. Um, but, but yeah, let me go ahead and get you guys some advice really quickly. Let's see, let's get you an affirmation. What affirmation is there for pile one? Okay, I'll do all three. I release my need to be right. I am defenseless and at peace. That's beautiful. We also have, today I consciously choose to think loving thoughts, take compassionate actions, and bring forth peaceful energy. And lastly, we have, I accept the gifts I've been given as a high service to the world. Okay, pile one. Well, this is where I'm going to leave you today. If this resonated, I would love to hear about how it did in the comment section down below. Please don't ever, ever, ever forget that you are worthy of kindness and respect um, at any given moment in your life. And um, you're worthy of that without having to do anything. Um, I'm really rooting for you, Pile One. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, I have lots of different readings to choose from. I now have um, mini readings for $8. I also have live um, unlimited question readings. Um, so please 
feel free to check out my Etsy shop if you feel so inclined. Um, and hopefully, Pile One, I will see you in another video soon. Bye! Hello to my beautiful Pile Twos. So today's reading is an all about my crush reading. So, or your crush reading. I was just, I don't know why I said that. I think it was because somebody um, asked for a personal reading recently, and this is where I got the idea. And it was an all about my crush. Um, but anyway, I, I am rambling. So today's reading is essentially going to look into what it is that your person that you're crushing on desires, um, what it is that they are feeling for you, how they feel about this connection, um, how they see you, as well as what their fears are. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So these tarot cards are going to represent what it is that they desire. So what does Pile 2's person desire? Okay. So we have the Two of Swords reversed, the Wheel of Fortune. What is it that they desire? We have the Six of Swords, the Ace of Wands. What is it that Pile 2's person desires? We have the Three of Pentacles. Okay. We have the... Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Moon. Okay, and then on the back of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. So, um, I would say, right off the bat, with three Aces here, this person is desiring a fresh start. So this could either be um, that you and this person have been in union in the past, perhaps this is an ex, or perhaps this is like a no-contact situation of some kind, or perhaps this is somebody that you have developed a crush on that is currently um, healing from a past connection or from some other event in their life. And they are really desiring um, most strongly right now, energetically, what's showing up is that they are desiring a fresh start. So what does this fresh start look like? For one, with the Six of Swords and the Ace of Cups, I would say that they want an emotional fresh start in which um, they don't have to think so much, in which um, there's not as much emotional or mental turmoil. The Six of Swords indicates um, kind of like mental mental pain, if that makes sense. Anxiety, but not, not quite anxiety because that's more so the Nine of Swords, but it, it just indicates this need to it's like recognition that um, your mind has been going, 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 or um, you have been going, going, going in conflict with another person, and it's time to let your mind rest a little and move to a more emotional space in which you feel a little bit safer, a little bit calmer. Um, and that's what I'm seeing here with the Six of Swords, especially with the Ace of Cups. With the Ace of Wands, and the moon, I would say that they also want to use this period, whether or not that's them having um, been in conflict with you or whether or not that's um, conflict just in life in general, they want to use the conflict or the, the negativity or the fearfulness or the whatever it is, the darkness that they have um, recently come into contact with or have been going through in their life as a way in which to inspire themselves. Um, the Ace of Wands is a card that can represent manifestations um, and empowerment. And I'm sensing that they are trying to really, they really want to be self-empowered. Um, I would also say with the, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Pentacles, that they really desire a connection in which, um, so what I'm getting from this is that they acknowledge that, um, relationships take work and even if they were single they still have to acknowledge the relationship that they have with themselves even if even if a person was to completely isolate themselves from the world from society they're still stuck with themselves um so and i think that they're kind of recognizing that in in which they realize that the best way to practice having to work in, re in relationships is to first work on that relationship that you have with with yourself and here what I'm sensing is that they really do feel they're, they're acknowledging that work needs to be done in connections or else um, 
or else they they will fail, they will fade. Um, and, and that's on both ends. And I think I think they're acknowledging that because we have this we have this energy over here of acknowledging that there's been conflict, but they don't want conflict. There's a difference between like conflict or drama and having healthy open communication and um, being responsive to that communication from one from one another. So um, what I'm sensing is that they they want to have that responsibility in a connection. They want to give um, effort to somebody, but they want it to come in a way in which it flows naturally. Um, and I think that comes, and I think that they would acknowledge this too, that comes with compatibility with um, things being meant to be. Sometimes people just aren't right for each other. Um, they might have differing opinions on what their values are or what they think is important in a connection. Um, but I think here what they're wanting is is compatibility and a little bit of fate or um, a soulmate. They want a soulmate. That's what they desire. Um, and when I'm when I'm asking these questions about what it is that they desire, I'm doing it very generally. So this doesn't indicate that they're saying this person isn't my soulmate and I want that. It's more like what does this person just want out of life in terms of romance? And um, what I'm getting is that they just want they want peace. They want peace, joy, happiness. And they want they don't want to be at a crossroads. They don't want to constantly not be knowing what's gonna happen. They want stability. They want to be able to collaborate with somebody. They don't want to butt heads with somebody. They want peace. So um, I don't know, like perhaps this person is much older because I know I know for a lot of people, especially when when we're younger, what we desire out of romance is is passion and not being able to keep our hands off of one another and not being able to to go a day without talking to one another or, or seeing one another or moving in really quickly together. And this seems like somebody who is who has been there, done that, and wants wants a healthy connection with somebody um, that's beneficial to the both of them. But that's what I'm seeing in terms of of that. Um, and then in terms of how they feel about you, we have the mountain. So I would say this is indicating to me that for a lot of you, this rebirth that they des desire is with you in terms of the past was with you as well. And they're feeling as though this is, they're feeling as though they, how do they feel about you? I'm trying to say it in the best way possible. They feel like this, they, they essentially feel like this is the, the effort that they were talking about. Like this is going to be, take a lot of work to come over this mountain. There's like a challenge here, but it's worth it. Um, and it's not just worth it because the top of the summit is the the best it's worth it because the journey is um the journey is going to offer them a lot and hopefully i think they're also hoping that you will see the effort that they are putting in as well and then in terms of how they feel about this connection we have courage so i would say that they're feeling really hopeful they're they're ready to take this on they're ready to put in the effort they're ready to put themselves out there to um, try to have that rebirth, that restart, um, and they're they're ready to face rejection if that's if that's what it comes to. Um, there's a strong desire here on their end to be brave, to listen to their heart, to do what it is that their heart is telling them to do, rather than to be logical in the sense of, well, this this person probably isn't going to want me, so therefore why bother. Um, and then in terms of how they see you, we have guide. The light attribute is represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. And the shadow attribute is places financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight. And they also see you as gifts to the portal. 
So they are seeing you as somebody who I almost want to say they're seeing you as kind of like this this moon um, in which they and also this ace of swords they the ace of swords I don't know if I talked about that but that is telling me that they desire a clear mind they don't want to be confused they don't want to know they don't want to have a situation ship let's just say that they want they want honesty they want um transparency that's something that they really desire in a connection and they see you as somebody who can offer them that who can offer them transparency whether or not that's transparency in the sense of you're gonna show up for them as their their forever partner or their life partner that's a that's a different story but they do trust you in the sense of they don't think that you're going to lead them astray just for your own benefit and they also see you as somebody that um is going to catapult them whether or not you decide to I mean this isn't this is a crush reading so I'm assuming that this person that you are inquiring about you do have a crush on um and and so what I'm what I'm sensing from this is that they see you as somebody who has the potential to make their life more beautiful or to bring more peace into their life um and then these two cards represent what it is that your person that you're inquiring about fears in this connection and they fear we have protection and we also have conflict so this is further confirming what it is that they desire in the sense of they don't want they don't want conflict or fighting or bickering they want to put in the work but they also want it to be a healthy connection. And um, I think their, their biggest fear is that the foundation in this connection has cracks that um, aren't being fixed or that maybe they look fixed, um, but if there were, were to be another conflict, um, the cracks might start showing up again and things might start getting rocky. So. From what I'm seeing here, what I would say is the biggest fear that the person you're inquiring about has in this connection currently is that history will repeat itself. They're very afraid that history will repeat itself. But pile two, let's go ahead and get you um, an affirmation. Okay, let's see, you got two affirmations. You've got, let me be still today and listen to the truth in silence. And when I see good in others, I acknowledge it out loud. This one I think is so beautiful. Um, okay, pile two. Well, this is where I'm going to leave you for today. Um, please don't ever, ever, ever forget that you are worthy of kindness and respect. And it's um, mandatory um, in terms of all of your connections. And if there is not respect or kindness, um, Please don't forget that that's what you deserve. I'm really rooting for you, Pile 2. Um, if you'd like to book a, a personal reading with me, you can click on my Etsy link. Um, I have new types of readings in my shop. I have $8 mini readings going on right now. And I also have um, unlimited question live readings. So if any of those are of interest to you, please book one with me. I would be happy to do a reading for you. Um, thank you so, so much for watching Pile 2, and I hope that I will see you in another video soon. Bye! Hello to my beautiful Pile 3s. So today we are asking all about your crush. So we are going to get into what it is that they desire. We're going to get into how they feel about you, how they feel about this connection, how they see you, as well as what it is that they are fearful of. So let's go ahead and get started. So the tarot is going to represent what it is that they desire. And this could be what it is that they desire with you, but really what I'm trying to what I'm trying to understand the most is what is it that this person just truly desires in terms of love and romance. Um, this is a general generalized reading and so um, there's lots of different types of crushes. There's lots of different backstories for the people who are watching these and I want to make this um, general and also it's beneficial to know um, What it is that a person wants rather than What it is that they want with you? Um, just because it's a little bit more authentic 
Um, okay. So, pile three. How, what does pile three's person desire? We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups. What is it that they desire? We have the Six of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna take this top one. We have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Hanged Man, or the Hanged One, the Ten of Swords. What do they desire? And we have temperance. And then on the back of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So I would say, so there's two cards here indicating a desire for balance. We have the Two of Pentacles and we also have temperance. And I think that this is really interesting because the two cards that are above this represent the two opposites, I guess. So on one end, we have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So this is signifying to me that this person desires to have a connection with somebody in which um, emotions are there, like the heart space is open. However, they don't want, they don't want a connection that is run c entirely on emotion. Um, they don't want something that can become codependent that can become really dependent on one another for validation or for every single need it feels like this person really desires to have a healthy balance in life in which they recognize that they don't have the power to be every meet every single need of their partners um, because they're only one person and also for that to be acknowledged in the other person however at the same time with the nine of pentacles and temperance here they also want something in which they aren't hyper dependent. Um, it seems to me like this person might struggle with either being really, really clingy and dependent or allowing boundaries to be crossed by other people in which they are really clingy and dependent or being hyper dependent and not asking help from anybody um, even, though it, even though it's necessary and it's a form of self-love. So I'm sensing this, this need within them or this recognition within them to find the, the middle path in this sense in which they um, keep their heart space open, um, but they don't allow themselves to be taken advantage of and they don't allow themselves to take advantage of another person. Um, and they also, they also want to keep their heart space open and not push someone away or keep their heart space open and not choose somebody who is emotionally unavailable. Um, yes, and then with the with the Knight of Cups here and the Hanged One, I'm also sensing that they, um, they desire something that is a little bit anxiety-free. Um, they want to, it seems like a lot of this has to do with, with their own self-work. Like what, what it is that they want is to grow more as a person so that they can have the healthy relationship that they want. They're kind of holding themselves accountable here is what I would say. With the Knight of Cups and the Hanged One, they want, they also want um, to feel as though they're not walking on eggshells. They want a connection in which their bids for affection, their bids for attention, and their um, desire to show love or give love to another is not rejected. They don't want to live in fear of that. And part of that, I think, is them having to let go with this hanged one, having to accept that rejection is a part of life and it's always a possibility. But also, they're wanting somebody who genuinely wants them back. The Six of Wands and the Ten of Swords shows me that they desire to have a connection without pride, without ego. Um, on either side, they would like that to to not be a factor. Um, and of course, we're human, so that is going to pop up from time to time, but they do have a desire to keep that at bay. And with the wheel of fortune here, they want they want to um, I think that they there's there's a couple of things here. They want to find their soulmate. 
they want their soulmate they want to have um fun they want to have passion um but they also just want to trust they really want to trust in what is coming toward them so that's what i'm seeing for what it is that they desire just overall in terms of love and romance now let's go ahead and see how it is that they feel about you so the card that i pulled for this is the judge what this is showing me is that when it comes to how they are feeling about you there is um, mistrust or fear here and that could be because um, perhaps you've um, done something to betray them however that doesn't have to be the case it could simply be that they are still working through all of these things in which they desire part of which is um, knowing which people are emotionally unavailable knowing which people are taking advantage of them knowing when they're being clingy i think they're still working through being able to trust themselves um, and because of that that is spilling over into this connection and how they feel about you they're, there's some mistrust here for whatever reason and they're trying to practice discernment they're trying to make sure that they do right by you do right um by themselves or or yeah by themselves that sounds weird um but there's just a little bit of fear here that's what i would say and um not really knowing what's what and then in terms of how they feel about this connection we have veiled so again there's confusion the way they feel about this connection is confused they don't know I think that they're under the impression that um, with time, with a little bit of time, um, trust can be built or more information is going to come to light in which this veil is going to be removed. But right now, currently, how they feel is kind of um, like they have a, like they're, they're not getting all of the information that they need or like they don't know how it is that you feel. Um, perhaps they're just as concerned about whether or not you feel the same way as they do. They're just confused. In terms of how they see you, we have the prince. The light attribute is romantic charm and poten potential for power. And the shadow attribute is using power for self-aggrandizement. And then we also have repopulation. So what this is telling me is that they're really... First and foremost, with this prince here, I think that they are seeing you in both the light and the shadow attributes. And the biggest indicator of this for me is the judge. If you look at this imagery on the judge card, you see black and white, like chunks of white, chunks of black. This person is thinking in black and white. They um, currently are not really in a state in which they can see the middle ground. Um, and so they're they're either seeing you in these light attributes or these shadow attributes and they're just confused um they see you as somebody who's who's um very sweet um who they have like romantic potential with but also at the same time they're fearful that perhaps they're being manipulative but with repopulation here i'm also sensing that how they're seeing you is um changing by the minute in terms of perspective per repopulation is a perspective shift for the positive or a perspective shift in the sense of seeing what's always been there but now realizing all of the potential that it actually is that you failed to see before um, so there's there's um, hope here um, and then in terms of what it is that they're fearing because I do see a lot of fear here and the other ones I did not see as much fear um, I, I saw, obviously I saw fear because we asked what is it that they're fearing in these other readings, but when it came to all of the other cards, there wasn't anything really indicating that, but here there is, this person is fearful. So I think that this is going to be really important to, to kind of understanding more about this person, but we have excitement and ideation. So this to me is confirming a hundred percent that this person doesn't trust themselves your person is very 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 concerned that um, their heart is leading them down the wrong path that they are getting their hopes up that this is too good to be true 
they are not trusting their gut they're not trusting their intuition they're not trusting their heart they it seems to me like this person has probably been let down in the past um, and really hasn't worked on solidifying that relationship with themselves entirely um, so that they they know what it is that they want and and the truth they know so what I'm trying to say is they they might know what it is that they want but they're not able to recognize it um, when it when it hits them on the nose um, and and that's something that I think they're they're working on they're definitely working on but they haven't arrived yet but I would say that um, when it comes to this person as your crush they have a crush on you back they're just very fearful so this could be I see it as two different things either you two are like friends or something or like this connection really hasn't gone as far as you would have liked um, it's still like in the beginning stages and so there's like fear around that or mistrust just from past things that have nothing to do with you or um, there was a betrayal in the past on your end and um, now they're trying to figure out whether or not they can trust you but pile two let's go ahead or pile three let's go ahead and get you an affirmation what affirmation is there for pile three okay i am in sync with the flow of life all right, pile three, this is where I am going to leave you for today. Um, please don't ever, ever, ever forget that you are worthy of respect and of love and of kindness, and you don't have to do a single thing to receive that. And if if that's not what's happening, please don't forget that it's your birthright to, to be treated with respect and with dignity. Um, I'm really rooting for you, pile three. Um, you deserve all the happiness and love that there is in the world. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, um, click on my Etsy link. I have a couple of new types of readings. Um, I have $8 mini readings, and I also have um, unlimited question live session readings. So please, um, if you're curious, check those out. Um, let me know if this resonated. I would love to hear about how it did in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching Pile 3, and hopefully I will see you in another video soon. Bye! Hello to my beautiful Pile 4s. So today we are doing a reading all about your crush. So we are going to be asking what it is that they desire, how they feel about you, how they feel about your connection. Um, let's see, what how they see you, as well as what it is that they are fearful of. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. So I'm going to use the tarot to look into what it is that they desire. And these are of course general readings, so I'm, I'm asking essentially what it is that they desire in love and romance, just in a general overall um, meaning in the sense of not necessarily what it is that they desire with you, but rather what it is that they want. And I think that that is, um, it offers more insight, more clarity on whether or not um, authentically you two are capable of showing up in that way for one another. Um, but also since it's a, a general reading, there's so many different ways and um, backgrounds that this could take on that I think that that is probably the best way to go about this. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So what does Pile 4's person want? We have the Page of Swords, the Ace of Swords, we have the World, the Ace of Pentacles. This is very interesting already. Okay, we have Justice. Oh wow, okay. We have the Seven of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Five of Swords. Okay, and then let me get what's on the back of the deck real quick. Bottom of the deck energy is the Queen of Cups. 
All right, so the first thing that I am noticing is that we have a lot of cups and we have a lot of swords. So this person, I think, is in a battle of the mind and the heart um, in terms of what it is that they want. It feels to me like this person um, is confused and they're acknowledging that they're confused as well. And one of the things that they really desire is to not be confused. Um, there is an element here of having a lot of options or not necessarily knowing entirely what it is that they want. Um, with this seven of cups here, there's like, there's just an element of not knowing what to choose. Um, there's still, there's a desire here. I can see that there is a desire for connection, for love, for foundation. However, at the same time, it seems like there's a push and pull within them um, in terms of accepting that aspect of themselves. Um, and so one of the biggest things that I see is a desire for clarity. They want an aha moment in which everything falls into place. Um, the Page of Swords represents like curiosity, um, brainstorming, and justice being right underneath it is indicating to me that they want currently to be able to um, be honest with the people in their lives about them not knowing a whole lot, but also wanting to, to be good to them, not wanting to lie to them or deceive them in any way, but rather um, be fair in their approach to um, admitting to others that they're still working things out and they're kind of a mess. Um, we have the world and the page of cups. I also am sensing that they desire um, play. They desire someone to travel with. They desire someone to help them um, recognize cy cycles, break cycles that are no longer working. But really the biggest thing that I'm getting with the world and the page of cups is fun. This person desires to have fun with a partner and um, expansion with a partner um, in ways in which bring about joy. The Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Swords is is very interesting. It feels like they 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 desire to have somebody tame them. They, they they desire to be tamed. They want to be tamed. And with the Queen of Cups being the bottom of the deck energy, they really do want um they really do want emotional connection. They're just um I don't know if this person has ever really experienced that or if they've always really just been like a player or have always um Perhaps there's been like trauma in their life that has helped, that has caused them to close their heart space off for um, self protection, um, and they're they're kind of at a, a crossroads in life now in which they're realizing that it's no longer protecting them; it's inhibiting them from growing. That's what I'm seeing, and um, so like I, I'm sensing like a recognition of of this pattern. A recognition of this cycle needing to come to a close um, and kind of feeling like a fish out of water in the process um, but yeah let's go ahead and get into how it is that they feel about you so how they feel about you is the vow um, I would say that this is there this is more conflict in the sense of their heart space is very much drawn to you. I would say that they are very drawn to um, connecting with you and, and being with you, being around you, um, and, and wanting to continue to do so, wanting to continue to be by your side. Um, they're very drawn to you. And I would say that um, they have a crush on you as well, um, if that's something that you are curious about. But I think also they're fearful that they might let you down. Like they might not be able to 
be this knight in shining armor for you because they they haven't had a lot of practice. Um, but there's a desire here um, to to move things along. Um, there there's a desire to kind of be tamed um, with you. They're just fearful of of hurting you or hurting themselves or just really fucking this up. Um, and then in terms of how they feel about this connection, we have number four, new life. Number 44, so we have 444, transmute. And number 17, friendship. So I would say that they're... Um, with new life here, it's kind of confirming what I was saying about like recognizing that the thought patterns they've had, the cycle that they've been in has been repeating itself for, for a long, long time and they are trying to come out of it. They don't want to be in that cycle anymore, but now they feel like a fish out of water and um, they feel like, like a fish out of water in this connection. That's something, this connection is something that makes them feel brand new to life like a toddler or like a baby learning to walk or riding a bike for the first time it's something that's like just really um different and a little uncomfortable um but they're they're wanting to they're wanting to change they're wanting with transmutant friendship here they're wanting to to change and deepen this connection from and and i think they're also realizing that they can't just be your friend there's 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 too many emotions here or there's attraction here and that's not something that they want is just a friendship um and then in terms of how they see you we have the detective the light attributes of the detective are great powers of observation and intuition desire to seek out the truth and the shadow attributes are voyeurism and falsifying information. And they also are seeing you as love grows love and your light. So they're seeing you as somebody that um, kind of perhaps like helps them dig a little deeper into their own thought patterns or into who they are or into their, their feelings. Um, you're very intuitive and you you see them for who they are rather than what it is that they want to portray. Um, they don't feel like they can hide things from you. And that's not in the sense of like trying to betray you or deceive you or um, harm you in any way. It's more so like they just feel known even if they're not trying to be known. And then with your light and love grows love, they see you as somebody who's capable of guiding them toward this ace of swords moment this aha moment um they see you as somebody who has the light within themselves that they are still searching for um and and they see you as somebody who who knows how to love who and who is giving of that love without any expectation in return and then in terms of what they fear we have the source and hunger and i think that this is really interesting because like i was saying earlier it feels like for a lot of you this person has been like a player or just like really really single for a very long time and um one thing that i'm picking up on with this hunger and source is that they are fearful of kind of um losing themselves in a connection or losing their spark or their passion for life or their their artistic qualities um there's just an aspect of they, they're still under the impression that they would lose something by being in a connection rather than um gaining something um which obviously is not true it's just one of those things that doesn't isn't realized until you have really given to yourself and you've really solidified that connection and relationship with yourself and then you realize you don't need anyone to add anything for one 
And the only thing that could happen, because you're so um, stable within yourself, if you were to find someone to be in a connection with, is that one, they would enhance your life beautifully, or two, they would do nothing for your life, and you're, you would still be abundant. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get you an affirmation pile for what affirmation is there for pile four about this connection okay let's see i celebrate my progress awareness not perfection is the goal all right pile four well this is where i am going to leave you today please 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 never forget that respect and kindness and dignity are are a part of your birthright and um, you are always always worthy of this and um, you're worthy of love no matter what um, I'm really rooting for you pile four thank you so so much for watching if you'd like to book a personal reading with me please feel free to check out my shop I'm now offering eight dollar mini readings as well as unlimited question live readings um, so please check those out, and hopefully I will see you in another video soon. Bye!